series review. In the past half a century or so, 4,400 people have disappeared from around the world. Then one day, in one flash of light, they all instantly reappear. A government organization is put to the task of trying to reintegrate them to real life, but then something strange happens. Something happened to them while they were away. But what? The show's setup promises, or seems to promise, plenty of room for storylines. There are 4,400 people that we can explore. Unfortunately, this does lead to several throwaway characters, the so-called Freak of the Week episodes that ran rampant in the second season, and for some reason, the longer this show went, the more it seemed to want to ramp it up. So while it started with 4,400 possibilities, it kept increasing that, and of course it couldn't live up to that. It didn't have the budget, and it didn't have the time to actually deal with all of these characters, and thus it really did the opposite of what Heroes did. It did not spend enough time on individual characters, and tried to go for far too many powered people. The basic experience of it is a bit like what I'm told watching X-Files is like. We have, you know, the two agents from a government organization, one male, one female, Tom and Diana, and they're investigating these phenomena. We do get to know the main characters, and some of the main characters are indeed powered people, and we do get many interesting scenes out of that. One of the main, one of the regulars, for example, is Maya, the creepy psychic kid who can see the future. And with her big eyes and small voice, is very creepy at telling us what is going to happen. And of course, it leaves plenty of room for Hollywood lines. This is going to happen, you know, the big... yeah. The acting ranges a bit, but it can be pretty good, some of the places where it's the most important. And some of the characters are indeed quite interesting. We do get interesting storylines. I would say this is mostly for early on. But throughout the four seasons, there are some interesting... There, there's the odd, really good episode in all four seasons, really. Back to the characters... We also have Kyle, who goes through something from very early on, and yeah, you're not entirely sure what's going on with him, and they do get something interesting out of that. The seasons are all, excuse me, except for the first, the season, the first season is six episodes long, the other three are twelve episodes long each. And other than dooming this to probably never reaching you know, re-airing because it's under a hundred, it also just really means that it's very crammed in there considering how many you know, super-powered people they went for, and yes, there is some repeating of powers, and with the occasional exception, this just doesn't have 
that many interesting uses of the powers. Certainly not when compared to Heroes, which also only had four seasons. Even though those seasons were longer. The effects are a bit hit and miss. Some of them are very cheap and very obvious. And you sometimes find yourself wishing that instead of going for so many different powers, they'd go for showing us just a few and having them look really good. The mythology is troublesome because it's far too vague. As it goes, it introduces several factions, and you're never entirely clear on how many factions there are, what the goals of these factions are, and it just takes a lot of the impact out of what happens, because sometimes you don't know what faction did it. Sometimes you don't know what they did it for. You seldom know what they did it for. And in general, it just takes a lot of the impact out of it. The, the show doesn't have a real ending because they very clearly expected another season after the fourth one, so instead it's just another attempt to ramp it up, attempt to put even more superpowered people into the show. So yeah, that's basically it. That was my review of 4500. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.